<laughs> you can do squats with this thing. Whoa. <laughs> love barbecue season and through our whole weight loss journey we've lost 130 pounds each and we've kept it off for six years at the beginning of our journey all the way through we did not want to give up barbecue food it's like our favorite thing so we found a way to eat tasty barbecue food and still be in a calorie deficit and lose weight and this is our one of our favorite barbecue meal preps that we do we wanted a tasty dinner, but we also actually bring this meal prep to barbecues where we hang out with friends and family and enjoy tasty food, but stay in a calorie deficit and still lose weight because it's great. I'm out of breath from being so excited. Okay, so it's also really quick because once you get it all in the little packages, it takes like 20 minutes to make the whole thing. So this is what we are having. Chicken burgers, asparagus, grilled potatoes in french fry form, and watermelon. This is how we started. We got these chicken burgers from Walmart. They are our favorite. They're lean chicken burgers. Some of you say that you can't find these at Walmart. Just get the closest thing, the leanest burger that you can find if you want to try this meal prep. Can be. We like turkey burgers too. Yes, it can be like any lean burger. So we made three days worth of this meal prep. So we did six chicken burgers, five minutes per side on medium high heat on the barbecue. Sp spray the grill with cooking spray first. And then I did again, five minutes per side, medium high heat. The last couple minutes, put these fat free cheese slices on and then just let them bubble up and melt. We use these buns. They're pretty low calorie, regular hamburger buns from Walmart. They're about 120 calories a bun. And the best thing, everything is from Walmart that you see, the buns, everything, cheese slices. So it's all gonna fit in a budget because we're also on a budget and like tasty food. Then we got two packages or what do you call those bundles of asparagus? Yeah, bunches. Uh, bunches. And you, for those of you that don't know, you store them in water until you cook them, like in the fridge in a little bit of water. And then you chop off about an inch of the woody part on the ends. And then I sprayed some tin foil, put the asparagus on. I sprinkled salt and pepper, first cooking spray, then salt and pepper. And then some of this everything bagel seasoning, which is also from Walmart. This was something new we actually tried today, right? We just came up with this, right, on the fly for the asparagus. Yeah, usually I put garlic powder, but today I was like, well, we had some of this left over, so we may as well try it out. It actually has really good flavor. It works. And then, so I just fold the tin foil over, and I make like little folds on the ends and make a little package, like a little grill package. Like a pouch. Yeah, and I did two of them for this, and then about, eight to 15 spears of asparagus per serving. And I'll just count them out every time we have a meal. So I put them all in one container. And then these are the containers of our finished product. We ate one for dinner tonight. So we have two more days worth of this. And then for the potatoes, it's one potato per serving. So I did six potatoes in six packets. I just rinsed the potatoes, chopped them up, I used to slice them, but I found it took a long time and it also took up a lot of space making the sliced potato packets. So cutting them in fried form actually saves time and space on the grill. And I just sprayed the aluminum foil and then I sprayed the potato, just some salt, and then I folded it up into a little package just like the asparagus. Did six of those for the potatoes. And then the asparagus, 15 minutes, on medium high heat and I flip it halfway through the cooking time. The potatoes, medium high heat and 20 minutes for the potatoes and again, flip it halfway. And then I just kind of open it up with tongs because you gotta be careful there's steam coming out just to check how they're doing. And that was like perfect cooking time. And then I'll put everything, because I wrap them in individual, 
uh, the potatoes in individual foils, I don't have to weigh anything out. I know that we get one potato per meal. So now we have two dinners each left, a burger, and then we were topping it with like um, low sugar ketchup and Miracle Whip, the light one, and some sugar-free barbecue sauce, and it was so good. And as a treat, so this is about a burger with a bun and the cheese slice, potato, and about eight to 15 asparagus spears, just an estimate about 460 calories or less, and we had watermelon for dessert. So it was like about, a hun about another 50 calories, so like, 510 calories for the whole thing with a full cup of watermelon cubes for dessert and I love Cutting it up putting it in a container and then just pulling from it for the week So we have our meals our dinner and our dessert for the week Three days worth of barbecue you can do as many as you want and it literally took like 20 30 minutes to do this whole meal prep and It has all the grilling flavor and like I mentioned before we actually make this and take it with us when we go to family and friends like barbecues and stuff because then we can participate in the barbecue but still lean out for the summer like we like to and eat in our calorie deficit and when you're eating this good i feel like it's not like so-called diet food like you don't feel like that you feel like it's a real barbecue dinner which it is and i also like when we eat clean like this i get a full belly but i feel not bloated i feel like still lean yeah. light meal you know fruit and chicken and veggies and we still we get potatoes we get a burger with a bun like there's everything here there's no getting rid of carbs no getting rid of veggies potatoes like we eat everything and we don't have to give up our life like in the beginning of our journey we used to go for our walks at the beginning and we would smell barbecue food and go oh we have to give that up and then we came up with meal preps like this where no don't have to give up anything. You can go with your friends and family and have barbecue food. So if you think about it, for like a Big Mac at McDonald's, it's 500 calories. Or, or you can this have entire meal with french fries, with a burger, with a bun, and watermelon for 500. Yeah, so that's it. And then what I do is I'll keep, like if you're gonna prep more than three days worth, I'll keep three days worth of food in the fridge because it stays fresh for about that long. And then I'll throw the rest in the freezer and pull them out overnight, thaw them in the fridge as we need them, and then just reheat them. You can either reheat them in a pan on the stove or just microwave them, whatever you like. We do both, um, but because we only have two days worth, I'm just gonna keep them in the fridge. And yeah, that, split, that's it. split this asparagus up between the four meals we have here, and we've got four buns left, and that's it. So buff, budget-friendly barbecue meal prep. You get to lose weight, eat barbecue food, have a great summer, what? And if you guys wanna know exactly what Kyle and I ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides. Links are down below, exact portions, family friendly recipes, exact meal plan, everything's in there. Or you can watch these two videos for more super fun, free, helpful content. And we love you, we're long more than out. That actually goes with the summer theme. That was a jump spark. And this is PG, this is called the beam for PG. You're gonna shake your beam out. Wear your sunglasses, cause it's the summer. We're going out summer style, shaking our beam. Summertime, summertime, summer, summer, summertime. We shake your beam, yeah, summertime. We love the summer. Love you guys. <laughs> Are you done yet? <laughs> See you guys. Bye guys, love you. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.